is what you're given, not what you ask for. <laughs> and of her four children, I was never the brightest jewel in my mother's crown. Now, outside of the gods of her father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, my mother worshipped at the altar of ladies' magazines. But you can be sure that by adolescence, I was an apostate in my mother's temple. Oh my God, young lady, what did you do to your hair? I looked like a raggedy Ann doll that had been in the static cycle for six months. <laughs> Lift your arm up. Up. Oh, you're not shaving, are you? Turn. Oh God, young lady, where is your brassiere? <laughs> It was so easy to be a gorilla in the land of ladies' magazines. But family's what you're given, not what you ask for. And my mother was given me. The brain tumors weren't diagnosed for another five days. Because every time I called the doctor to say, something's wrong, she's sleeping all the time, he kept saying, I just left her out of the hospital, she's fine, she's fine, she's fine. So I had gone, my other second sister was there, when we finally got the doctor to see her and run some tests. Fatal, aggressive brain tumors. And my father knew exactly what to do. We're not gonna tell her. She doesn't need to know, it'll just make her unhappy. Daddy. A human being deserves to wrestle with their mortality. And we were all in agreement, but it is really hard to tell the person who gave you life that they're leaving theirs. So my sister and I on the phone decided we should let the stupid doctor who wouldn't see her right away tell her. So we, she runs all over the hospital, she finds the doctor, she tells him he has to tell her. Now, in our parents' generation, doctors are gods. So when he walks into the room, my mother's very impressed. Oh, hello, doctor. Helen, I have to talk to you. It is about these brain tumors. And he uses all the right words. Fatal, aggressive, metastasized, the whole thing. And when he's done, do you have any questions? No, doctor. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Thank you, doctor. Bye. Bye. Honey, I couldn't understand a word he said. What was he talking about? Oh, God. And my sister refused to say so loudly that people in Philadelphia would know that the lady who wore the green suit to her eye appointment had brain tumors. So she didn't say anything. <laughs>